Operator comfort and safety are key to productivity. All TigerCat E-Series skidders are equipped with a fully adjustable air ride seat featuring an operator weight air suspension system to improve comfort and ergonomics. The most important feature of the air ride seat is the manually adjustable four-point seat belt harness. It is important the seat belt be used at all times when operating this machine. Begin by placing the shoulder harness over the shoulder and buckling the lap belt. Pull each end of the shoulder harness and lap belt to ensure a snug fit. To ensure proper operation of the weight adjustment air suspension system, it is mandatory that all operators recalibrate for their own individual weight at the beginning of each shift before operating the machine or if away from the machine for more than an hour. This process should also be repeated if the operators are switched mid-shift. With the operator sitting in the seat and the machine parked on level ground, begin performing the initial weight adjustment. Release previous settings by pressing down on the weight adjustment lever until all the air has been released and the seat suspension bottoms out. Place the shock absorber adjustment knob temporarily into position one, or soft. Pull up briefly on the weight lever to begin the adjustment. The operator should sit absolutely still during this process. The adjustment lever will click when compression stops. Once the weight adjustment is properly calibrated, the shock absorber level setting can be varied, adjusting the cushioning effect to suit operating conditions. Five positions are available, ranging from one, soft, three, medium, to five, or hard. Turn the knob to the desired position and release. Adjust the seat angle by pulling the left handle upward. Adjust the angle of the seat by moving the front edge of the seat cushion up or down until it is in the desired position. Release the handle to lock the seat cushion. Seat depth can be adjusted by pulling the right handle upward. Adjust the depth of the seat by moving the seat cushion forward and backward until the seat depth is in the desired position. Release the handle to lock the seat cushion in place. Located underneath the armrest is the armrest angle adjustment knob. Turn the knob toward the outside of the seat to raise the armrest. Turn towards the seat to lower. To adjust the seat forward and back relative to the joystick pods, pull up on the locking lever and move the seat forward and back, positioning the seat comfortably for operation of the joysticks. Release the locking lever to lock in place. It is important to note that the locking lever must latch with an audible click to lock the seat in position. It should not be possible to move the seat when it is locked. Pull up on the fore and aft lever to move the seat and joystick pods forward and back into a comfortable position for operation of the foot pedals. Release the lever to lock it in place. Once again, the lever must latch with an audible click when released to lock the seat in position. Seat heating or cooling are available via a three position switch. Switch the seat heater on by pressing the top of the switch. Seat cooling by pressing the switch to the bottom. Place in the center position to turn heating and cooling off. Two lumbar support switches individually adjust the curvature of the upper and lower areas of the backrest. Increase curvature by pressing plus. Reduce curvature by pressing minus. Upper or lower backrest curvature is individually adjusted by using the upper or lower switches respectively. To adjust the backrest angle, lean forward and pull up on the locking lever to release the backrest catch. Adjust the backrest angle to the desired position and release the lever to lock in place. The locking lever must latch when released to ensure a proper seat position. It should not be possible to move the seat when locked. Finally, adjust the seat height by pulling up on the weight height lever. Push down on the lever to lower the seat height.